Hi everyone, I'm back. Um, I've sewn along all the sh um, shoulder seam and see how nice and straight it is all the way along. You will get a stitch that has been a bit bigger than the rest, but don't be afraid, it's still the same going all the way along. Now I've got to the end and as you can see, they're still connected. Now I have already split my wool, one's already gone in, and this is the other. Now I'm not tying any knots at the end, all I'm going to do now is that there is still attached to the sleeve, and that one there is the body. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through that stitch, and then through that stitch on the body. So this one here is the arm and this one's the body. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to go through there. I'm not going to pull tight on this one and then I'm going to just go through the knot just beside it and then through back through into that same stitch again and just very gently just bring the two together just so they're holding now the reason that I do it like that, now I'll take this out, the marker. Now the reason I do that is, so when we come through to sew the body with the sleeve, so that's what we're going to do now, is we're going to sew from here all the way through to there and all the way down. Now when you get to here, you don't want a heavy amount of fabric, okay? So what we do is we just keep it just on the edge, only just, and that one there, I've just put it again. Remember how I just started with more in there on the second stitch, not on the first one? So when we come to sew that up, it's not going to be thick and bulky. All right, so now... I'm just going to thread this off just like what I've shown you before just very gently come through and then go over and I try if I've only got a little bit left of the yarn I then go around and back through just so I'm threading off the rest of my yarn okay and if I've got a little bit left over I turn it over so I've got the whole end and I do exactly the same and then just go through push it through and there you go the whole lot is in there and you can't see where I finished it off okay there it is actually there I can see where it is there and then all I'm going to do is just mat it in just very lightly brush and then that will mat into there now we're going to start at the sleeve end now we've got our tail like what we had before and as you can see that's why I like a nice long tail so now just folding that over and pushing it through now see how we've got right on the edge we've got the cast on edge all right and we've got another one coming through there and around there so that's what we want to achieve now that's right on the edge, so that's your first stitch, right? Not that one, this one, this one coming through here, not that one, all right? This was your purl stitch on one side and knit on the other. So now when you look at this one, there's the same thing, there's your edge, and there's your next stitch there, not in here. There's your edge there. So what we're going to attach is both edges. So if you can see that that there is one stitch, two stitches. But right on there, that's actually your slip knot that you've made. That's your first stitch that you made. So what we're going to do is we're going to come up from the bottom and we're going to go into that stitch. Our very first stitch very gently again there's that gentle word 
and now what we're going to do there we are we're going to come through see how that one's gone through we're going to come through up onto that one and then we're going to come over and there's that first stitch here see how that one comes around like that so we're going to come up into that one and just very gently bring it and there it is looking the same all the way through now once we've got that done we then are going to come across to the other side and that there is the stitch that you started with right on the edge so now we're going to go back through that stitch and this one's a little bit tighter because it's right it's that's your slip stitch so we're just going to gently pull it a little bit firmer and now we're going to pick up the bar on this side And then we're going to pick up the bar in here. There's a bar. I'll find it. There it is. I can feel it. Just got to find it. The whole piece. There we go. So the first couple of stitches are always hard. And because we're doing it on a rib, it's a little bit different to when you start coming up. Oops, I'm in the wrong place for there. So when we start coming up, we're going to have to make sure that we're not going into that one because that's your knit stitch. We want to bring both those purl stitches on the side together to make one because on here, you've got a purl, knit, purl. The same on this side, you've got a purl, knit, purl. So if we bring these two pearls together, we're only going to have one pearl in between. And then again, we're going to pick up that bar underneath. In there. All right. So if you see the knot, see it flat there, then that's the bar that you're going to pick up. And again, just very gently, just gently pull okay until it gets a little bit firmer then we're going to come over here and we're going to pick up the bar and the same on this side so not in there in behind here is the bar there so if you see that those two going into a V just underneath that V is your bar that you would need to pick up so there's your, see there's a big hole there, but that's your two, two rows. There's your row. So there's your bar there. And then in behind here is your bar. I've got to find them in there. There he is, hiding. So I just very gently pull that together. There we go. And then come up into the next one. And then up into the bar again. As you're getting closer to the top, it makes it a little bit easy to see. So there's nothing there, remember. There it is there, right there on the side. And then there it is. Remember, it's at underneath that stitch there. And you've got to come up. Sometimes you just got to go back a little bit to get it. Just to make sure. Okay, there it is there. And last one, back on this side. It's a little bit fiddly. But even if you're not sure, there's a little thing that I tell people to do. And see, there's, there's just the one, okay? Just the one in between. So now we're going to start. And just before we go any further, I suggest that people, I still do it. I sit at the table 
and I do my sewing up because I can actually see where I'm going. All right, so now we're going to pick up the bar on one side and we're going to pick up the bar on the other side. The bar, see, we're going to, that comes out, where the yarn comes out, we go back in that same hole and pick up the bar. And there's the bar. And there's the hole. And we're going to pick up the bar. There's the hole. And there's the bar. Sometimes you'll get one that's a little bit bigger than the other. And it all depends on how firm and what your stitch, stitches on the edges are like. You must make sure that all the edges are nice and firm. Now, I've started that. And see how I pulled? And I just held on to that edge there. So there's your pearl, plain, pearl, plain, pearl. And then we've started. I'll just do a few more and then we can continue on up. Okay? So there's your hole. There's your bar there. Coming in across to the other bar. And then you'll just continue. So there's the hole. There's the bar. So you've come out of that one, picking up the bar. In there. And in that bun and up, picking up that bar. And again, just gently holding and pulling. And that's a seamless seam. Okay, I'm going to continue on and then when we get to the armpit, I will show you the next part. Okay, thank you.